When I think about what MMRF has meant to me and my career and the growth of our program, I think I can easily say that we wouldn't be the center we are today were it not for the partnership and opportunities provided by the MMRF. MMRF really started the long-term relationship with me and with Emory back in 2002. And that partnership together with Dr. Anderson and many others led to the COMPASS trial. What COMPASS did was give us a genome map for myeloma. COMPASS is more relevant today than it was 10 years ago when we first embarked on the trial. It is so built in to many of the analyses that we do that it's often the first step in writing a grant or doing an analysis on something new in myeloma. The first question is always, well, what does COMPASS say about this target? One of the key pieces that we were trying to understand was how do we get a large enough sample size to really be able to answer the question about the genetic landscape of myeloma. If you pick a single institution, you're gonna get that institution's biases on which patients get enrolled and which don't. If you pick over 30 institutions with a target of 1,000 patients, you now have wiped out those individual biases and it supersedes what an individual lab may bring to the table because it is so much bigger than anything else people can make. I think what MMRF is really bringing to the table is the authority and the buy-in from the myeloma community to do things that nobody else can really do, to answer the kinds of questions, the large questions that the community really needs.